and I knew something like weird was gonna happen because the way like he kept looking at me and I was like uh, let me get my phone because this is not right. Tonight at 6, a South Florida teen says she was waiting for her school bus when she saw a man acting suspicious, but it's what he did next and how she responded that police say made all the difference. According to investigators, that teen took out her phone and started recording. Moments later, she spotted the man touching himself inappropriately. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn joins us live at the bus stop where all of this happened. And Jacqueline, you talked to the uh, teenager about this very difficult situation, but she acted so quickly. Yeah, she told me it happened at this bus stop here. You can see it's out in the open. This man used his car to partially block what he was doing. And I was talking to her as I was talking to her. She told me she wanted to uh, share the story as a warning to others. It was around 820 Monday morning at this bus stop near Northwest 105th Avenue and Johnson Street. You know, it's the last few days of school. I had to go take my final, so I was like pretty much the only one at my stop. Usually there's um, other people at that stop, but because it was the last few days of school, there was no one else there. Pembroke Pines police tells us somehow Luis Enrique Rodriguez spotted her. The teen estimates he stopped 40 yards away. So he was driving. He was the only one in the car. So he got around the car and he went in the front passenger seat. He took down his pants. That's when he began to inappropriately touch himself. From the moment the car stopped, the teen was alarmed. So she grabbed her phone. And then as soon as he saw like me get my phone, he like started to like get up or whatever. But I still got his face and I still got the license plate. So that, that videotape was crucial for us. And again, it took some time for, detect, for, for our detectives and our crime analysts and also our police officers to collaborate together. Because of the teen's quick action, police were able to track down 25-year-old Luis Enrique Rodriguez and arrest him from his home in Plantation about 24 hours later. This person has a past of similar situations. So today, the Pembroke Pines Police Department has presented a charge to the Broward County State Attorney's Office, which is a charge for exposure of sexual organs. The teen tells us she's not so much scared as in shock. There was a lot of people like walking around on the sidewalk on the side of the road, and even on my sidewalk. So like, I think what he was like trying to do to like cover himself from like other people, he like left the front door open. She's sharing her story to help others be prepared for something like this. I really wanted to do this because, you know, there's other people at that bus stop and there's other people like other kids in that area that do wait for the bus too. So I was like concerned for them. Now, police wanted us to share the suspect's car, the description in case this has happened to someone else. It's a black Camry from 2012 with tinted windows and distinct chrome rims. The license plate was DQNA04. Again, DQNA04. If this has happened to you or someone you know, you're urged to call Pembroke Police. They are working with other agencies in the area. In Pembroke Pines, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.